from now I will regularly upload videos of creating teams and squads with different tactics and managers. I will use a mixture of iconics, legends, and base players. The incentives behind this is to share some of the thoughts I put into building teams with different key players. Even with only one manager, many ways of attacking and defending can be developed by selecting players with different playstyles, skill sets, and strengths. Today's video will be about one of the most popular 4213 managers, Bindyold, with Romanig being my key player. First, let's look at his manager parameters on Piz Hub. Although he has frontline pressure defensive style, his 9 compactness means that the players will be crowded when they defend. His 5 defensive line is not very high either, they are generally very good for online mode. He is a possession based central attacking manager, with medium level of support range. I keep them in mind when I select my players. Let's move on to player selection. I will start from the back. Goalkeeper, choose your favorite. CBs, choose your favorite, but with a possession manager, I prefer CBs with good passing abilities. VVD, Beckenball, and Puyle are all good passes. Alternatives are Varane, Ruben Diaz, or any top tier center backs. Fullbacks, I prefer at least one offensive fullback. It is up to you because in this system I will not depend on fullbacks too much, but their passing ability should be acceptable. They are mostly in charge of making simple transitional passes. For the double pivots, I prefer two players that can defend well. Because in 4-2-1-3, the DMFs are widely spreaded, there is like a hole in the middle. Two DMFs with good defensive ability, like Kante, Rijkaard, Mira. Many alternatives include Rodri, Matthors, Silva, all would work really well. Now the front four, here comes the key part. At this point, I would need to plan and figure out how I want to attack. As mentioned at the beginning, I want my Ramanig to be the key player. I will choose him as my center forward. We all know that Ramanig's forward runs is one off, if not the best in the game. So pairing him with players that can provide good through pass will be ideal. Rivaldo is a classic number 10 AMF. He makes less forward runs, but he tends to position himself to receive passes. Then, he can make a lethal final through pass to Ramanig. Alternative players are, Gullit, Kevin De Bruyne, Beckham, Cross Specialist. I picked Hazard because he is a good dribbler and he is a good passer. He is not as good as in previous years, but he can get the job done in this system. Alternatives are, Kaka, Joao Felix, Byers. Messi has everything. His existence on the pitch can provide you many other attacking options, like cutting and make a curl shots. My attacking substitutes are, Muller, a dummy runner, at wide SS, his runs can create space for the lone CF. Beckham, I gave him super sub, he can provide good through passes and some long curl shots. Haaland, a sub for Rummenig, his runs and physicality are one of the best as a sub. Let's move on to some highlights and talk about ways to attack. Attacking is simple in this system. Remember this principle, build up, and through pass to Rummenig. Everyone around or behind Rummenig can give lethal through pass. Again, build up, get the ball to the three supports, and make a final through pass. See how Rivaldo is always in a position of receiving the ball. This is the value of classic number 10 players. Other players can also score. Ramani will be your main scorer, but others will have space for shooting because of Ramani's threat. The weakness of this system is, it may be focusing on the lone CF too much, so when the opponent's defense is compact, it can be difficult to find a good chance. 
In this case, just be patient and make slow build up, or make long shots. In defense, although it is compact which is generally good. Being too compact means it can give opponents space to go wide. Bin Duel's 4213 can be vulnerable against crosses. Thanks for watching. I will keep working on more content.